Hi, this is Mark from Skywagons University. Um, today we're just going to do a quick flight, a little flight review and sort of an overview of, of an early 180 flying it. This plane belongs to Paul Perkins. I just sold it to him a few months ago. He's an Alaskan guy. He's going to take it north when the weather gets better <clears throat> up there. But um, it's a 50, no, it's a 57 180. It's got the standard 470 engine in it, so it's 230 horsepower. Um, it's got 850s on the tires. It's got a stall kit, so it's not the factory wing. It's just a Horton stall on the leading edge. The two window airframes, remember that goes from 53 to 63, two window airframe. The small tail, like on all the early 180s. So it's very stock, which is a good version of uh, just what these planes fly like. So let's um, fire her up and have a look. So we're just gonna start her up. Put some mixture in, mags on, master on. Mixture in, mags on, master on. One pump of the throttle, because I've already run it once. The starter is here behind this panel on the left on these early planes. So I just crank it over and clear. <laughs> Generator on. Got good oil pressure. Plenty of fuel. Oil temps coming up. Do a quick run up. We've already run the engine, the engine <clears throat> this morning, so I've checked it, but normal run up would be 1700 RPM. Bags. Prop. Twice if it's cold. Idle. Intercom. Okay, let's do it. Classical traffic. Uh, Skywagon 180 Alpha Yankee is on. Uh, correction, Alpha Yankee departing on a 23 local flight, Placerville. Keep it straight. Bye bye, Grove Road.
Take this a high speed pass, Mark. Okay. Too much because I'm going to be uh, doing a high speed pass. Placerville 180 Alpha Yankees on left base uh, for a low flyby at Placerville Airport. Not landing. Alpha Yankees. Zero Alpha Yankee is on final for a low pass for two three at Plasto. planes are very modifiable. You can put on longer wings, you can put in bigger engines, different props, stow kits, different... Left traffic, Piper 785, left cross wind, QT Rancho. Different gear on them, I mean you can upgrade them like a Harley Davidson to whatever spec you want. This one is very stock, which is kind of nice, people like a nice clean original stock plane. They're pretty high performance the way they are too, I mean you can put four people and fuel, this plane holds 50 gallons and go to the Idaho backcountry or use them in Alaska or put them on floats just like they are. 57 is the only year with this cluster. If you see that cluster under one piece of glass in the panel of a 180 or 182, it's a 57. If they work, they're great. If they don't work, you've got to take that whole thing out, which is a little bit of a pain. So let's do a wheel landing. Placerville, a zero Alpha Yankee, left base for two, three at Placerville. The manifold pressure is coming back, slowing it down, getting it into the flap arc. Prop it in, mixture set.
So a quick run around the pattern. It didn't show a lot of information or detail, but at least it got um, a good idea of how an early 50s plane takes off and lands. And um, we'll be doing a lot more in some more detail very soon. So Mark from Skywagons University, subscribe on the link, press the little bell for notifications, and we'll see you on another video.